Hello and welcome back to the Flexographic Pills on Flexo.expert. When I say screening related to Flexographic printing plate, what do you think I'm referring to? Well, you're right. Screening could be either referring to half tones of tone values on images or to plate surface texture, also called microscreening. This might actually be a bit confusing, don't you think? So, what's the difference between halftone screening and plate surface screening? And is there any relationship between them? Halftone screening refers, in printing, to the need of reproducing a continuous tone with one ink on one substrate. We don't have hundreds of different inks with different shades, we just have one ink and we exploit the resolving power of human vision to create the effect of a transition of tones by dividing the ink layer in small objects, the dots of half-tone screening. Plate surface screening refers to a texture that is imaged onto the printing surface of a flexo plate to improve its ink transfer and lay down capabilities on press. This texture can be applied onto any graphic element, solids, text, and of course, halftone dots. In fact, the surface texture of plate is applied after halftones are rasterized. Here, you see a 50% AM dot on a plate with surface texture applied based on the shape of the dots. Therefore, a sort of screening of a screening so these two screenings are actually two different things, but they are tightly connected to each other. When we measure the dot area coverage, the dot percentage, whether we do it with Murray Davis or CTV, we always need to start our measurement by zeroing our spectrodensitometer on the unprinted substrate. Then we measure the solid. And finally, we measure the tint patch to obtain our tone value measurement in dot percentage, right? So let's play with some real numbers. Zero on substrate and measure a solid like this, say with density 110. Then I measure the 30% patch and I get a tone value of 55%. Okay, then I use another plate, this time with an optimized surface texture applied. Of course, the solid will print with less pinholes, better lay down and higher density. Now, the same 30% patch reads 40%. Hmm. So we have reduced dot gain by 15% just by applying a plate texture. Good. It's funny though, because these two tone values look almost identical, if not for a little slurred feathering on the 55%. But I definitely would never guess that one is a 55% printed and the other one is a 40% printed. Don't you agree? This means that the tone value of half tone is relative. I mean, it depends on the values of the solid and the substrate, but there is more. The plate without texture required a certain dot gain compensation. Now, if I apply the surface texture while keeping the same press conditions, I have a better ink lay down, a higher density, and a sensibly lower dot gain. So the previous dot gain compensation curve would be too strong. It is no longer suitable for the new plate surface, and it needs to be recalculated and adjusted. So remember, dot gain compensation depends on halftone screening and on plate surface texture. If you change surface texture on your plate, you have to update your dot gain compensation curves. I hope this video peel was useful for you and don't forget you can take your basic training in flexography on flexo.training. And if you need more advanced or customized training, or if you are thinking of calibrating your printing system for new quality challenges, you're welcome to contact me at any time. Ciao!